There, 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 I'll set it in the box here. Yeah. Supposed to be like that, but you see, Odin left this much. Oh, this much. We are going to completely tear down this washing machine and do an overhaul. Why? It's because when I disconnected the hose here, I can see the drum. It's quite dirty. And if you don't do this maintenance, what will happen is your clothes will not be clean. Not only that, this is the incoming hose okay you can see there are a lot of debris stuck inside okay because we got two hose so you can see the debris stuck inside okay it's accumulated look at that when i saw this i decided to not to proceed to fix back the motor but to completely tear down this guy and to overhaul so i will be showing you all step by step okay so what i have done is this wiring is rather simple because you will have this board this control board located here in front so you just have to do undo two screws okay when you undo the two screws it will be size 7 1 and then 2 
once you undo the two screws this board comes out like this you can see the PCB board at the back okay and you will have this wire connected here simply just press this clip down and you pull this wire if there's only one wire undo to size 8 okay and you remove the door okay you can see the door the hinge has been oxidized okay so we got to clean this up also and then the most crucial part is the detergent compartment where the detergent mix with water that is the most crucial part and that guy sits here which is like this okay so it sits here right and you can see at the back there that is the two places for the black holes okay so the water enters and you will feed the detergent here or the soft line or whatsoever here right so the mixture take place in this chamber the hands are wet and so forth that will lead to corrosion so where's the corrosion you can see sign of corrosion and there is a bar here okay so the bar rather sits like this you cannot see anything okay but when you take out the bar you turn it upside down you can already start to see corrosion this black color is actually anti-rust previously we have painted but you see the corrosion came back so we got to rectify this they are all clips at the side okay just pry them out come slowly this thing comes out okay although it looks clean there are some can you see okay the dirt trap inside there so this will eventually cause the water to come out in a low amount hence you have to wait longer because the holes are clogged so we got to wash this with a high pressure washer so we keep this aside after undoing the wire we just take out this black color hose which is connected to this sensor so what we are doing now is actually we are taking out everything which is connected to the drum now we have to undo the wiring for the heater so we have to undo right so there is two wires here so we got a marker right so this one you just press up you press up and push okay and this is the earth and this is the earth going to the drum you see it's connected to the drum right so it's protected so we have done that this is the motor wire and then we have the pump down here which will pump the water out because this washing machine okay it uses a pump to pump the water out okay so we're going to take it out one and two so you're going to take out the heater now so this is the heater let me gently pull it out okay this is the sensor so this is the heater you can see all the dirt so now we are going to loosen up this screw when the drum is has attached it is recommended to lock use a pipe put it here ask someone to hold okay so this thing is already locked okay when this thing is already locked okay secure your allen key size 6 mm okay and then further extend the allen key using a pipe and then you turn it counterclockwise Before removing the drum, we got to take out this cover. 
okay so just remove it from the slot here okay so this cover is done undo these four screws so we got to undo this screw this pin okay one pin and two pins these two pins So this is the pin. These are the absorbers. Right? These are the absorbers. So we put it aside. You can see, yeah? Okay? So we got to remove this and slowly lift it down. my left this is the first weight all right sleeping There is a spring here, okay. And to put back, there is a marking, huh? so this marking must align with this marking. So that's not a problem. So we just take out the spring, like so. This is a spring, and you can undo the cover. There you go. In order to get to the drum, we got to undo size 8. This is the screw light. Okay. This is size 8. So we will keep it here. Okay, after that, we just separate the drum. Okay, this drum can be removed now. We just have to undo it. Okay. So once you take out the drum, you will see all the dirt. 
okay so this is the filter the filter is clean because that day we just clean it so you can see all the dirt inside yeah this is the drum so you can see all the dirt so this is what you can see look at the grind look at all the dirt this is the dirt will basically make your clothes dirty okay no matter what type of detergent you use to clean your clothes end of the day all this will pollute your clothes still in terms of hygiene So these are all the parts which we took it out, we're going to wash, okay? So all this we are just going to rinse with water and then we're going to use a chemical to remove the all the dirt.